Thank you, Mr. Galanis, and I want to thank all the witnesses again for, for being here today. Uh, we will now begin the questions, and I want to remind members on both sides of the aisle, each member has five minutes. I'm going to adhere to that uh, and uh, hit the gavel. If the question has been asked, then uh, we'll allow the witnesses time to respond, but we are going to try to get in a lot of questions uh, from a lot of members, and I will begin the questioning followed by Ranking Member Raskins. Uh, again, Mr. Bobulinski, thank you for your service to our country, your military service. Appreciate you being here. Uh, during the 118th Congress, this committee has investigated Joe Biden's involvement and his family's influence peddling schemes around the world. So let's start with that. Mr. Bobulinski, was Joe Biden involved with any of your business dealings with Hunter Biden and James Biden? Yes, he was. was Joe Biden involved in his family's attempts to sell their access to him? You set out a form, you set out a form uh, uh, to form a legitimate business. You set out to form a legitimate business with the Bidens. Did you come to find out that the Biden family had no interest in doing real business? I did. Mr. Galanis, are you aware of any times Hunter Biden used Joe Biden <laughs> with Joe Biden's knowledge to benefit their business associates? Yes. Which business associates? Uh, Elena Baterina, Russian oligarch, Russian. testified about Russian, Chinese, uh, um, Chinese fund manager, um, Henry Zhao, and uh, Nikolai Klochevsky, a uh, Ukrainian oligarch, uh, oil and gas oligarch. Okay. Now that we've established that Joe Biden was involved in his family's business dealings, I'd like to turn to the financial records we've subpoenaed. One major point my Democrat colleagues downplay is how much money the Bidens accumulated from foreign business ventures in such a short period of time. We have over $24 million to the Biden family and their business associates from 2014, while Joe Biden was vice president, to 2019. Mr. Bobulinski, there came a time when you were attempting to raise $10 million from the Chinese to pursue an actual business deal, a real business deal. There but it wouldn't be correct to say this was a $10 million deal, would it? Uh, what did the Bidens conceive of the business with the Chinese becoming? The Chinese were committing to uh, deploying billions of dollars in infrastructure projects here in the United States as well as around the world. Mr. Galanis, what was the financial goal you, Mr. Archer, and Hunter Biden set out to achieve? Was it millions of dollars or billions of dollars? Billions of dollars. Billions Chairman. with a B. Yes, yeah, billions. Now I'd like to turn to some of the statements Joe Biden has made during his presidency about the findings of this investigation. Mr. Bobulinski, Joe Biden has said he never interacted with his family's business associates. Did he meet with you? He did. In fact, are you he aware that Joe multiple, Biden also met with... I'm, I'm with, sorry, Mr. Chairman, he did yes, multiple go ahead. times. Several, okay. Are you aware that Joe Biden also met with Rob Walker, Eric Sherwin, and Devin Archer too? I'm generally aware of it. Mr. Galanis, as you discussed earlier regarding Yelena Baterina, uh, the Russian, Russian oligarch, you were present for Hunter Biden calling his then vice president father with the Russian oligarch, Yelena Baterina, present, correct? That's correct. You also were present for Hunter Biden's conversation with his father about a board seat on a Chinese company board, is that correct? Uh, I was present for a call on Chinese transactions discussed, yes. So Mr. Galanis, isn't it true that when Joe Biden said he didn't interact with his family's business associates, uh, that's not true, is it? I, I believe it would be misleading to the point of being um, an untruth. I wanna touch on the fact about uh, the absent seat in the middle. Hunter Biden has chosen not to attend today's proceedings. I've given Mr. Biden exactly what he asked for before his deposition. It's clear that Hunter Biden knows his testimony would not withstand public scrutiny. Joe Biden has not been truthful about his participation in schemes to sell access and influence. And today's witnesses will show the American people a side of the story that the president and his allies on this side of the aisle are eager to hide. Mr. Bobulinski, can you tell us about your meeting at the Beverly Hilton with Joe Biden? The short version or a long version? Long version. 
but within within a minute. Okay. <laughs> so uh, uh, Hunter Biden, Jim Biden, and Joe Biden were in Los Angeles for a variety of business discussions. Joe was there to speak at the Milken Conference in May of 2017. I had uh, lunch with Hunter Biden at the Chateau Marmont, and he had asked me to meet with his father that night. Um, he set up a meeting at the Beverly Hilton where they hold the Milken Conference, and I got there a bit early and sat with Jim Biden, uh, Hunter Biden, and um, we're just talking about what we were doing with the Chinese and the legal documents I was working through. And they had sort of coached me before Joe got showed up to listen, we're gonna just keep things at a very high level. We're not gonna go into a lot of details in this meeting. And I just remember that discussion generally because it just struck me as odd, honestly. Joe wasn't in the White House then, he, 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 and um, that they were sort of framing it that way. And then Joe uh, showed up, walked through the lobby of the uh, Beverly Hilton Hotel. I stood up to shake his hand, and uh, we sat down and spent 45 minutes to an hour going through my background, you met with him that long? Yes, yes, yes. This wasn't a handshake, right. a two-second discussion about the weather. This was a 45-minute long, is this gonna long go? meeting to an hour where we talked about a lot of stuff. Very good. Thank you. Chair now recognizes ranking member asking for his questions. Uh, but we're actually going to go to Mr. Garcia to begin. Great. Thank you very much. Uh, and thank you.